Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how to send reminder emails in an approval flow. So let's get started. Over here, I will be creating one approval flow and thereby I will show you how you can send a reminder email as well. The scenario is whenever a new item is created or modified in this list, an approval should be sent to this user test user 03 present in this approval column. And if the approval is not taking any action for the first two days, three days or five days, which we can configure it also, then we should send a reminder. And if the action is taken, there should not be any reminder to the approver. Before I proceed, let me tell you in the default approval process, Microsoft has not given any reminder functionality. So I will tell you using parallel branches how we can do that. Let's quickly get started. Here I will add my site address, which is my POC site. And my list name would be equipments. This is done. Now, whenever an item is created or modified, I'll start with the approval process. In the approval, I will say start and wait for an approval. And it will create a connection for the approval for me. Approval type, I will select. Uh, first to respond. So if there are multiple approvers and in if in case any of them is approved, it should be considered as approved. Here title I will say learn reminder functionality. Learn, re learn how to send reminders in approval flow. Okay, this would be the title. Then assign to Assign to again, we can directly take the column we have approver. And here I will take approver email. This is also done. Because that's a multi select column, that's where it has added the apply to each loop. In case there are multiple approver, it will send to both the approvers. But in uh, for now, in my case, I have only single approver. But okay. Now, in case of the detail, I will not add anything because I will just try to keep it as simple as that. Okay, now let's save this flow and I will try to create a flow. This is done, it's getting saved. Okay, now it's time to test it first. I'll click on test, manually test. And it's asking us to create an item. Here I'll go, I'll say iPhone, I'll add approver, test user 03, I will add. Nothing else, save. Now this flow will run and we will see it will send an approver email. In the incognito tab, I have this email box open for this test user 03. I will go back and apply to each, sending an approval. It will take some time for the email to arrive over here. And this action will stay in progress until an approver takes any action on this approval request. We have to wait for a couple of minutes before we see the email in the inbox. You could see just now I got this email. I'll select this email and here I have this approval reject button. If I'm not taking any action, this will remain in progress this action. And if in case approval by any chance miss this email, there is no provision to send a reminder. And if I will take any action, let's say submit, this will be considered as completed over here. If you see your flow ran successfully. Now let's see how we can send a reminder. If you see over here, there's nothing even in the advanced option to send reminders. We have to do that through parallel branches. Over here, the stage over here, when we are about to send a reminder, I will add a parallel branch. Okay. And here I will add a loop called do until. I will add one loop called do until. That was a typo. Still. Yeah. It should work now. Now it looks good. And here I will create a variable. 
initialize variable and i will say we are approval action approval completed and default value i will set it as false and for that i will go to the expression i will say false okay default value is false now what i will do okay it has got added over here that is also fine but i would like to shift it over here i will remove this again delete now what here i will do once the action is completed i will change the variable to true i will say set variable we are approval completed and i will mark it as true this is also done now what i am saying is do until so until the value is false keep sending the reminder that's a very simple logic so i will choose the variable until is equal to false the moment it is set to true do not do anything so until the value is false again i'll go to the expression false send a reminder and what we have to do first of all for example now what should be the frequency of the reminder i wanted to send a reminder every let's say after three days so i'll put a delay over here first of all now over here i will say delay okay and i saw there was a uh, count and unit i think maybe because of some issue this text boxes are not appearing but i'll try to edit again or i'll saw one more action delay until i have not used that so let's see uh, what is there inside that delay until if we can use it okay that is uh, specific to the timestamp but i'm not getting the text boxes for any of them so for now i will save and i will try to refresh it and we will see so meanwhile it is getting refreshed what we are doing we are taking one variable okay and we have set it to false then what we are doing in a parallel branch we are checking okay it is set to false pause for 3 days and then send a reminder again it keep it it will keep on doing that after three days the reminder is completed again it will say okay it is false send another reminder that's how we are going to do it and here i have to open that flow again and we have to make one more change let's quickly see first of all let me put a reminder now over here hopefully uh, this should work delay schedule okay now we are getting it and i will say day and count after 3 days okay now my flow is paused for 3 days and after that again i have to see if it is still false otherwise what will happen what if uh, within 3 days the approver has taken an action then there is no need to send a reminder so i will put one condition over here i'll say condition okay if we are approval completed is equal to false if it is still false what we will do now send a reminder over here i will put one send email function and for the reminders we have this email functionality we will be using this send an email uh, there is an action with version 2 and just to filter out i will use this outlook then we will get office 365 outlook and now from here we will see send an email b2 i will use this send reminder to the approver which is again present in my list column name i will say approver email and send an email email subject would be reminder to take action so this body you can you know work on it as per your requirement and again in the body also i will put the same advanced option everything should work so now what will happen now let me close everything what will happen initially my variable is set to false over here an approval is sent approver is not taking any action in the parallel branch it will see uh, it is set to false obviously once is, once the approver email is triggered at that time it is set to false then we are pausing the flow for 3 days after 3 days again we are checking if it is still false we are sending a reminder again 
the moment the reminder is sent it will come over here it will it will see okay it is still false again it will wait for three days if it is by the time approver has taken an action we are setting it to true if it is true there won't be any reminders it will come out of this flow and it, this flow will be considered as approved so this is the actual logic now let's quickly test it but for the testing purpose we cannot wait for three days so what i will do i will change the unit to a uh, minute i'll say or or i should say maybe seconds and i will send reminder every 30 seconds so it is just for the testing purpose now i will open that email action i will remove everything from here so that there is no confusion this is a clearing box and i will over here test this flow before that let's close everything and now it's time to test the flow automatically with the recently used trigger succeed test now you will see flow is running and see both the branches are running in parallel now there could be one thing only before we get an approval email because the duration is 30 seconds we might get the reminder email first so let's not get confused here we have the inbox and as i said like reminder to take action uh, is coming first just because the duration is very less over here you got you saw this now i'm not taking any action you will see we will be keep on getting these reminders see over here i'll go to the flow again see but over here if you see this action got completed so let's see why what is the issue it should not be completed because it will be sending only one reminder so let's see what is the issue delay 30 second condition is fine it's true edit let's see do until i think okay i'm saying do until it's false i have to make it to true until it is set to true so there's a mistake over here and again i will save and i will clear that inbox empty folder and guys if you are getting confused what i have done earlier i was saying if the ap approval action is false so initially it was false and in the next loop it checked okay it will run only till that condition is uh, true so it was false only it got matched and it exit but now what will happen it will say until it is true initially it is false it will work and then in the second loop also this will work so i'll uh, test it again both of them got triggered and here i got the reminder email so we can uh, consider this i would be getting the approval action also this is my approval action now i'm not taking any action let's go and see now this is also in progress both the branches are running this branch will keep on sending me the reminder until and unless I am taking an action and this variable is set to true. The variable is set to true, this will become the breakpoint and it will come out of this flow. Now, you will see we will be getting another reminders. See, we are getting continuous reminders after every 30 seconds. In another 30 seconds, we will get another reminder. So, for the testing purpose only, I kept 30 seconds, otherwise, uh, the video duration would be unnecessary, would be long. Let's wait for one more reminder and then I will be taking an action and then we will see there won't be any further reminder. This will become completed, the entire flow. Another reminder, see. Now I would say approved. And let's go to this flow. It got completed. And by any time, this will also be marked as completed in the next 30 second because right now this is in a pause state so whenever the next loop will run this will say okay it got completed this is also marked as completed so guys this is how you can create reminder functionality in your approval flows make use of a variable set it as false after the approval action mark it as true put a d until loop in the do until loop run until the approver has taken action put a delay in the condition check for the variable and send the reminder email if you wanted to take any snapshot of this action 
because this is what we have done you can i'll just reduce try to uh, reduce it so that you can say in one go so this is what i have done delay and i will put it on edit see do until approval variable is set to true delay 30 second check for the condition and send an email these loops are there because this approval column is a multi choice call okay guys that's it for today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming video till our next video much love keep learning thank you